So you're just doing neck mopping into the kick. So this is called mop. You know, wiping the neck. If you do it with the kick, it's mop up the teeth, meaning I'm sweeping it. Probably the more famous version, though, of controlling the neck and the arm is when we do neck mopping, right? So neck mopping kind of sounds like what it is, which is I put my hands on the neck like I'm mopping the sweat off, like I'm being a nice guy and taking the sweat off. It's hooking the back of the neck. Now, for example, he throws a left hook at me, and I block and I reach, right? And we see this also in striking, right? He jabs at me, and I reach over the top to grab, he throws cross, and I reach over the top to grab. Mm -hmm. These are all verses of neck mopping. And so like, again, a lot of times we're used to seeing like in Thai boxing with a knee. But once I have an arm, if I could do the, the hook, for example, boom, right? So I pull, and as I pull, I push the arm. Right? So if you went with the cross hook, for example, I reach here, and you see this is like the old thing. So what happens is it's not just pulling his neck, his neck and, and push the arm, right? It's not just the neck. If I just grab his neck, come on, come on, don't get don't get If I just grab your neck, it's not much, right? But when I do that, that's the difference. So again, let's say he does both. I'm gonna block. Now, am I talking about the two blades of the arm? Get always used to. I don't know, we're slotting. Have you ever have you ever done anything like this? <laughs> <laughs> Right here. And again, I'm going to pull the neck and push the arm. Let's say he goes jab. So I deflect, I reach over the top, same thing. I pull the arm back while I pull the neck. He goes across. Okay? Now, what will happen is let's get this first where you feel it off balance, and then I'll show you how you follow up on this. First, you get them off balance. A lot of times, people. What bothers me some hard marks these uh, instructionals, particularly about shui jump, is they just show you how you're in this great position and you touch them and they fly through the air and they fall. It's very hard to get there. You have to know how to enter, you have to know how to get your grip, get the proper grip, you have to know how to unbalance them, and then the throw comes. Right? In judo they say you have to unbalance, enter, and throw. Which I said like in Chinese we say it a little differently, because we think of the like judo will say you can't enter unless you unbalance them because they're gonna counter throw you. But we think also with striking. So we have to first get past the striking, and that's the entering. Then the unbalancing, which sort of puts together the two things that Judo was talking about, right? And then throw. And again, for our purposes, once we get to the unbalanced part, that's the oh shit I warned you about. Like you're gonna feel like you're gonna get thrown. We don't need to get to the actual throw, because we don't want everybody getting injured and not being able to come back to practice. How do we get there? He throws a hook. I block and I grab his neck. He throws a jab. I'm just deflecting it and reaching over the top to grab his neck. He does cross, I'm blocking it, I'm reaching over to grab his neck. Good. So, hook, right? I'm doing this, not this, because I don't want to get hit. I'm putting that blade, I'm right talking about the blade, we were doing this blade before when we were doing chokes, this blade. He's gonna tell you if I hit him hard, <laughs> that is not, I don't want to hit me again. That's also the psychology of it, which is every time you hit me, you feel pain, you're less likely to hit me. I grab the neck. He goes jab, I move it out of the way, and I grab his neck. He goes cross, If I poked him in the eyes when I did that, it was an accident. Every time I did it, I didn't need to do it, even though I did it over and over and over again. Right, he goes cross. Again, if I palmed him and did it, I didn't mean to do that. It was an accident. Just like if I beat him and then threw him, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. All right? Oops. If I hit him this way, too, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. All this stuff is here. Okay? I grab his neck to unbalance him. <laughs> Right? Now, like I already said, sometimes you unbalance them and you knee them. That's what people see in Thai boxing all the time, right? Like you grab the neck, grab the neck. But I can also move for throws, right? For what we call teeth. Kick, you know, kick into kicking, but in squeezing and trade. I'm going to do that for I block and I go. So what happens is, when I do this, see how I got foot step? Right? Because if you're falling, right, if you're tripping, what do we all do? We try to step in front of ourselves to catch our balance. So the easiest way to make somebody fall is block that step. You're falling and you can't step. So 
Sometimes people think of this as a kick, right? There's this job to it, just kicking with the inside edge. But I can also use this as a sweep, right? If you've done judo, it's like standard judo sweep, right? I tend to do it a little more as a kick than a sweep, because a sweep is just kind of this, right? It's basically the same idea. In other words, if I get this, I know that as I pull him, he wants to step, right? So what I do is, I block that foot, right? And the world is not a perfect place, right? So if I can't get that foot, I get that foot, right? And my people know, if you go to sweep somebody and they don't fall, what do you do? Need them, Need them. exactly, hit them. If you go to hit somebody and it doesn't work, what do you do? Again. Throw them. If you go to throw somebody, it doesn't work. What do you do? Hit them. Hit them. So if you go to hit somebody, it doesn't work. What do you do? No. If you go to throw somebody, it doesn't work. What do you do? Hit them. Exactly. So in other words, he goes hook, and I go like this, boom, boom, boom. Right? That works. And then snap him down off of the knee. Right? So again, I can block this foot. I can block this foot. Again, if it doesn't work. Be nice. And actually, what people don't realize is that tie works that way also. Because they unbalance your knee, they unbalance your tie, they unbalance your knee. Right? They just don't do the big throws. And that's, that's a whole other story in itself why they don't do 